hello and welcome back to my channel I wanted to get on today to show you a couple of different ways to hold a baby when you are breastfeeding the baby and two ways that you can successfully feed your baby in public without having to cover your baby um I'm, you can see my food in the background I just made breakfast um, but I have my two ways here that I'm going to show you how to cover I also have my notes and I have my big girl here holding my baby. Now I am not going to be physically breastfeeding, but I'm going to show several different ways you can hold the baby while um, baby nurses. So first I want to say, before saying everything else, that all 50 states have laws protecting women who are breastfeeding their babies in public. 30 of those states have exempt breastfeeding from public as a end end indecency exposure they have blocked that from being um a part of that law so um that means that if your breasts are exposed while, well if your breast one breast is exposed while you are breastfeeding your child they cannot come to you with an indecent exposure um charge because you are exempt from that now that's meaning that your nipple is inside baby's mouth while baby is eating and most of your areola if not all of your areola if you have shape like me I am a 34 um, double D so um, my breasts of course are larger than my little one's mouth but I still do not cover um, so for me if like if my baby is hungry I'm gonna feed him regardless of where I am I've done that with all of my other children and I will continue to do that with as many children as I have um, I don't cover my children's faces when they eat because I don't cover my face when I eat. Simple as that. Nor do I eat in the bathroom. Um, breastfeeding is natural. Breastfeeding has been done <clears throat> excuse me, for centuries, thousands of years. It can date back past biblical times. So, with that being said, <clears throat> I feed my baby when they are hungry, wherever I am. Now, I might have a, a little bit of a cover or I might do a certain sort of a method like I'm going to show today um, if that's what I choose to do at home I'm not covering anything and there's been times where I've been out in public and I haven't covered anything so first I'm going to show you um, two different methods to um, feed your baby without um, a cover but without showing yourself showing some sort of modesty so first is the t-shirt method I have a oversized t-shirt here that's not really oversized, it's just a comfortable shirt. <clears throat> I have it inside out to not show signs. And as you can see, I have on a tank shirt here. So with the two shirt method, I have my shirt on. My baby's hungry. Wah, wah, wah. So I get my baby. Hello, man, man. And I hold him in the cradle position. I lift up my one shirt. I have my boob out. I can reach in here and scoop my breast out and pull my shirt down at the same time. And my baby would be able to eat without ever seeing my boob. So that is number one. Take this off and I will show another way that you can discreetly um, feed your baby but the two shirt method is my favorite I've also done it with um, a shirt like this with a camisole a spaghetti strap shirt underneath or um, different different ways actually different shirts work for that method um, the second shirt is having the second tip is having a receiving blanket or a burping blanket and I'm going to get my baby again. Hello, man, man. Here's baby. And I will get him into his feeding position. And I can do this with one hand. I've had five babies, so I'm quite experienced with this. So you take this and cover it over baby. And tuck this into your shirt. And then baby can eat without being covered 
and he can be comfortable while you're comfortable without you being exposed. <gasps> My man, I know him angry. Him doesn't want to be on display today. Um, but yes, those are the two different ways that you can cover yourself or indiscre discreetly feed your baby in public. Let me clean up for a moment here. Okay, so if you are modest and you 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 feel more comfortable covered um, completely when you are breastfeeding your baby, I will show you different ways to do that as well. Um, but it's all to with your preference. So now I'm going to get into showing you different ways to feed and hold your baby. So, the first way that I'm going to show you is called the laid back way. That is honestly the first position that is taught when you are a new mom. So, the laid back position is this. Hello, man. This is my little baby boy. He is 10 weeks, but the laid back is this way. You can have your breast out and baby's feeding, but baby is this way. Like I said, this is the first position that's shown to new moms that are nursing. Um, it's really easy. It's a really comfortable position. You can hold baby close to you and be successful with your breastfeeding. The second position that I am going to show you is called the football hole. Now, this football hole can be used um, for twins. I do not have any twins, but it's quite comfortable to um, nurse that way with twins. This is a more comfortable way to nurse um, if you've had a cesarean section or C-section. Um, I have not had a C-section either, um, but I will show you how to do that method. So the football hole is if you have a husband or some person in your life who enjoys football, yourself, you enjoy football, you know how they hold a football. So this is the football hole. You can have your baby here, and he can be drinking. As you see here, this is the football hole. Now this works with twins because you can have two babies. I have my extra baby here. You can have two babies here and breastfeed that way. I know, man. Well, that is the breastfeeding, I mean the football hole. Um, you're, the way you hold the baby, where are you going, man? The way you hold the baby underneath, that gives the baby's head and back support so that you can feed efficiently. Um, so the next position is the side laying, um, feeding. So this is more comfortable when you are having night feeds. So the side laying position is like so. You turn on your side and you have your breast exposed and you put boob in baby's mouth and you are on your side feeding your baby. Let me. That is laying on your side. I know man and feeding baby. <laughs> That's what that is. You can talk to your baby. You can hold his head. You can, you can play with your baby. He's angry right now. Um, but that is that position. Okay. Okay. The next position is called the back feeding. Um, that is when you lay on your back, free breast, um, and feed baby. That's also another comfortable position for if you've had a C-section, um, you can just lay back like I'm doing and baby can sit like he is doing and he will find the nipple and he can eat that way. So that is another comfortable position. Um, oh my man. So the next position that I will show is called a dancer hold. So the dancer hold is 
when you hold the baby's mouth and your boob. So this position works great for if you have a premature child, um, a child with special needs, or your baby has um, some sort of oral issue to where he or she can't latch on or stay latched, latch properly or stay latched. Um, but the dancer hold is, I can turn to the side and show you this. The dancer hold is kind of like an upright hold, but you are holding your breast and holding baby's mouth at the same time. So your fingers, you see my finger wiggling? My, your fingers hold the baby and hold your breast to keep him in place so that he can eat and uh, not lose his latch. I know, I know. So the last hold that I will show you is the upright. That is when baby is facing you like mine is doing. <gasps> yes, man. So baby is facing you. And this works usually for older babies. He's laughing. That works easily for old, older babies, but you face baby towards you and the baby can eat just like this. Now, um, those are a few of the positions that are used for new moms or a couple of new new holes or positions for experienced moms um moms who have had c-sections moms who have had multiples um those are a couple positions that you can hold baby in comfortably um and then two different methods that you can use to um feed your baby without covering yourself um so I'm going to go over now a couple of the different positions that you can use. I mean, a couple of the different products that you can use to cover yourself. Can you go to Big Sister for a moment, man? Okay, here's Big Sister. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. So, if you have a muslin, I think that's what that is. It's a really big... Um, a really big cover it's not really thick or heavyweight it's really thin and nice um, I have a couple of those they go probably about the size of a baby's crib about that length and width um, but I'm going to show you with my burp cloth that I have here so as I showed before you can use the cloth where it is tucked underneath your bra strap like I've done here or you can have a knot if yours is bigger. Tie it into the corner. So as you can see, I have a little knot tied into the corner. I can use this as a weight to tuck on the back of my bra there. And then I can have baby here. And of course, if you are trying to cover yourself more so, what you use to nourish your baby will be fully covering. So this is one method that you can use. Um, there are also scarves that you can use, an infinity scarf. If you take the infinity scarf and twist it, you've made a figure eight. You fold it over and you put that on. That hangs down low enough to where you can discreetly feed your baby and your baby can be underneath the scarf and your breast underneath the scarf. Um, but that works as well. And then there are a couple of stores that physically sell, <coughs> excuse me, physically sell breastfeeding covers. Now those are covers that are, um, they're kind of like this, and then there's a piece that connects around the head. So you put your head through, and it sits like so, and baby can be underneath eating. It physically covers, it's more so this wide, it covers all of you. Um, I was gifted one when I had my oldest about 10 years ago, and I didn't use it often. Now, the reason why I don't use covers, like I said before, I don't cover my face when I eat, so I'm not going to cover my baby's face. And two, none of my babies have liked to have any sort of covering over them. Um, three of my babies, I'm sorry, two of my, two of my babies were born in the winter and three of my babies were born in the summer um 
So two of my babies, all of my babies didn't like having anything over their faces or covering them or stopping them from seeing or looking around or anything like that. Um, I'm going to insert a picture here. I was the face of um, Richmond Black Breastfeeding Awareness Week um, about two years ago. Like I said, pictures here. Um, and I am holding my baby. I'm comfortable. I am in a public area, as you can see. And I loved it. Um, but I have not been to another shoot like that. I used to do some modeling. I'll insert a couple of those pictures here. Um, so I am a very confident person. I'm a person who is very sure of myself. So I wanted to get on and show some things that I um, know about covering and breastfeeding and um, different holds that are comfortable for new moms and experienced moms. But that is all that I have to show you today or at this moment. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll have another video coming up. And please check the description box below so that you can see other videos that I have posted to this regard. And um, meal ideas, reviews that I've done, etc. So please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.